Welcome cuties. Let's create. Good afternoon, everybody. I am excited because this is a craft that is super easy and super, super cheap. So some of the materials that I have is that I have this wire um, hoop for specifically for wreaths. And this one was from the dollar store. I got it a couple years ago um, and then I haven't used it. It's a small one, but you can get them at Walmart. You can get them at any craft store as well. Um, like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, stuff like that. And then I have trash bags, specifically ones that have the red drawstring. And then I have some ribbon. I ended up, I just have the one ribbon and I end up going, uh, I went to the store and bought some more. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut strips of maybe like an inch or two inches. It depends on it. You don't have to be perfect. Um, and then you fold that strip in half, cut it, fold it one more time, and then cut it again. Super easy. And then what you will do is then you just tie it onto the hoop. And I tied it so it has four different wires all the way around. The outer edge, two on the inner, and then one on the very inner edge. And I decided to do the outside edges, and then on the inside edges is where I cut my ribbon. So you honestly, I didn't, I only double knotted just a couple I didn't double knot every single one. I just tied it once and then I just slide it over and try and fill up as much as I can. I, so this bag that I used, I think they're eight gallon bags. Um, and I used probably, oh, five or six. Um, you kind of do like, one bag, depending on how thick you want it, can go, because as you can see, they're like in little sections. So a bag per section, and sometimes you can kind of get away with a section and a half, but um, I like the ones with the red drawstring because it just adds a little more color. And then after you are done tying, all you have to do is just kind of fluff it up and you're good to go. The nice thing, so I actually did this way back, oh, maybe in like in elementary school. That's how far th that this, my, I gave one to my mom because it was, you know, what we did during school. We made these and then gave it to our parents. I think, I don't know for sure if we actually had these hoops or if we had um like a hanger i don't know i'll have to look when i when i go up there for the holidays so what i do is i cut the ribbon it was like six to nine inches and what i do is because i don't want my edges to fray so you can get a match or you can get a lighter and you just light the edges and this is just it creates like this thick plasticky edge to it and so you don't have to worry about fraying so I do this a lot whenever I have to cut ribbon or anything like that so I tied about three ribbons per section so I would tie you know one I would have one on yeah <laughs> one on the edge one in the middle and then the other edge and that is what I did and just kept tying. The nice thing is, is you can watch like Netflix or YouTube or, you know, you can just sit there all day long and just tie, tie, tie. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it's super easy. Like I said, it's super cheap. You could probably even get the bags at all a dollar. You can, um, Dollar Tree excuse me, Dollar Tree, you can get, um, 
garbage bags at Dollar Tree. You can even probably get ribbon at Dollar Tree. You, this can be just a Dollar Tree craft. You know, you can, and again, you don't even have to use the plastic bags. I mean, let's let's say you wanted to use ribbon instead. Um, I just kind of went with this because you can get quite a good package of, of, what's it called? garbage can, uh, garbage sacks and then whatever you have left over voila so this one i actually did kind of measure out specifically um this one i did n nine inches for the ribbon just because i want the ribbon to stick out a little more because i don't know how many inches the actual strips are because i just fold in half, cut, fold in half, cut, it, that simple. So, but with this one, I'm like, I kind of want these all the same, and I know that the nine inches did really well. So, um, cause I kind of, I did the same exact size on one of my red ribbons, and you couldn't see it as well. So this one, it was like perfect. So I went with this size. As you can see, I ended up going to Walmart and getting some green ribbon. At first I thought it was, uh, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna get glitter everywhere. But it was actually just a shiny plastic and so it was, it was really nice. So I, and I feel bad because there's a part that I left out because I was really struggling. Um, I wanted to make bows to put at the top and so what I did, because I, I was able to tie the green and the plaid all the way around, and I had that section that I was like, oh, I'm gonna leave this blank because this will just be for the, um, the bows, but I ended up also putting um, more of the garbage sacks right there just to make them kind of pop up a little and not be so dented in or pushed in or whatever but what I ended up doing is then I ended up making bows and you can make any bow you don't have to put a bow like the whole thing is optional <laughs> like, you can make it however you want with whatever colors you want um, I just thought it was kind of fun and just really easy and not gonna lie I would not be offended, like, if someone was walking by and, like, stole this wreath, I'm not out, like, a lot of money because it was a super, you know, cheap craft. So I wouldn't be offended, like, if someone, I know, I, I've never heard of people stealing decorations, but you just never know. And so this is what I did. This is, this is how it turned out. So, and... I I think I think it's so cute. I really really like it. Um, the only problem is it hangs right over um, the number on my apartment. So <laughs> when I know that I'm getting a package that day, I just took it off and hung it back up when I got my package. I know that they could probably figure it out, but anyway. So I really liked this craft. It was super easy. Um, what I end up doing here in a second, you'll see with the bows, is I hot glued them all together. I made like circles out of the extra that I had, so I made little like hoops, I guess you could say. And then I kind of glued them all together and interchanged them so that they're all like kind of facing the same way. And then I had one piece that I glued in the back that had the, the dangly? <laughs> the dangling uh, ribbon that comes down on a bow. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But um, then what I did to make it easy to, because I'm like I don't want to hot glue it onto the the sacks or anything, um, just in case I wanted to change them out for some reason. So what I ended up doing is sticking a. Oh no, I forgot what they're called. Zip tie, there we go. A zip tie onto the back of the bows and then I was just able to zip tie them on to the wire. 
and I think it turned out so well. I think it's so cute and it's really easy, super simple and cheap. So can't go wrong. I mean, you can always just be like, I don't want to craft. It's no big deal. Like, I just thought it would be kind of a fun idea, especially, I don't know, during these times you get bored or, you know, it's even something that you can give to a neighbor and I don't know. I think it's kind of cool that you can make something pretty out of literal garbage. <laughs> don't, don't have it used. Have it be clean because that's gross. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think this is super easy and, um, please try it and please post it if you do try it and tag me and use the hashtag creating my cuter thing because I do, I want to see if you guys end up creating these things and how yours turn out and, you know, cause everyone's imagination is just a little bit different and their creative style is also a little different and everyone's tastes are different so it's exciting to get new ideas from other people as well so that is my first christmas craft of the month
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give the video a like or a comment, stay a while and watch a couple more episodes, and until next time, keep creating!